Okay. And this tricky two-kilometer circuit certainly is going to provide the entertainment. It's a real handful for the most powerful saloon cars in South African motor racing. I think it's a very busy little track, as, as you saw with the lap times, it's well under a minute. And I have about 18 to 20 gear changes a lap, so it keeps you busy all the time. And you get into flat out into top gear? Yes, funny enough, the straight down here is about as quick as car as Lama straight, surprisingly so. But uh, another problem, of course, is overtaking. It's very narrow, and I think it's going to be very difficult to get by anybody. If you into the first corner first, I think you've got a good chance of winning the race. And speeds? Well, like I said, it's about the same speed as Kyle Lamy. I would imagine it's about 240 in that, in that region at the end. Well, he's probably a bit quicker down there. But uh, a few dangerous corners. You have to watch it all the time. The one down past the, the screen is like a, three corners in one. So you have to really set the car up well. And then it goes from that very high-speed corner to a very slow-speed second-gear corner at the, at the airplane at the beginning of the straight. So there's a bit of everything. And the four-wheel drive must be a big advantage at these tight corners. It probably is. It's, the problem is our gearing isn't quite right for the track. So I'm coming off a few corners just off the cam, like at the airplane. I'm battling a bit to get out of there. But the car's quite nice. And just to make it more dramatic, the rain arrived as the mighty West Bank modified got underway in the first race over 15 laps and about two and a half thousand horsepower arriving at Continental Corner almost carefully led by Sol van der Merwe, Willie Hepburn in the Opel, Henny van der Linde in the Nissan, Ben Morgenrud in the Mazda and trying to squeeze in there as Johan could see in the Skyline. Henny van der Linde starting to slow, Morgenrud nearly hitting him and we're inside the car with Henny van der Linde who's slowing at the moment as the others stream past him. System checking there, he's going over his management system, over the electrics, over the fuel injection. What has happened to kill his motor? And as it turned out, his air intake low down in the front of the motor car, it sucked in water from the cars ahead and it got into his fuel injection and his electrics and that was his race run. But it wasn't run for Sorrel van der Merwe, the four-wheel drive, Audi Turbo, this whispering, whispering wonder car of South African racing, the new sound of South African racing and uh, leading there the roaring V8 Sabat Caltech's Opel of Henny of uh, Willie Hepburn just behind him as they power out of water cup and past the start finish on the first turn. Hepburn is keeping him right in the side, although in the spray. But it's careful driving by Van der you can so easily fall off the road. Here we are with the Hepburn. This is what it's like from the driving seat in that B8, big V8 Opel record. He powers out of Contin down this long straight, one of the fastest straights in South African motor racing at the moment. Downhill, they'll be touching the brakes looking for a dry line, as dry line as they can get as they feed in the power. You can see it's snaking down there. It's tricky. The three corners built into one as they start to power up to Bosel Bend. Hepburn right in the picture, keeping the big V8 fans happy and tucked in behind him. He's got uh, Johan Kutsi and there's Ben Morgenrud in there as well. There's Kutsi in the Class B car. That's for cars up to 3,600 cc's. Keeping in the picture there, non-turbocharged power, Johan, who'd won the championship in 1600 class, right in there. And here we are with Saul van der Merwe going around the three-corner section of the course with the shot from the National Super VHS camera. And ahead of him, the slower class B cars, he's coming up to lap now. And just watch how quickly he works away at that gear change and gets the, his hand back onto the steering wheel. Around the banked auto cup corner, with the start finish in sight and he starts to really close on that car ahead of him. It'll be onto the brakes now, the road's starting to dry out now, the marshal's giving the blue flag which indicates there's a man coming up to overtake you and you can see the battle scars on the Minolta Copias Alpha V6 GTV of one of the stars, that's what the front of ever now getting in amongst the tail enders, this is the tricky part of the race, you can so easily make a mistake with this because they're not slow motor cars as he goes down to the screen section and the way to do it is normally on the inside but he's going around the outside. What a piece of driving by Van der Merwe. He starts to get back on the, on the power band as he starts to ease. You can see the dry part in the road. They're trying to stay on that as much as possible as he eases it up to Bosel Corner. Back down through the box and you can see uh, uh, Nico Bianca staying in right there with him. Don't, not often you see a Audi Turbo 4x4 going sideways but that's what it was doing there. As he comes up to the flag to win this race, Sorrel van der Merwe, what a win for him as he comes away from order trip to the start finish and he finishes ahead there of Willie Hepburn in that save at Opel and Ben Morgan, who's very good in the BP Mazda in third position. Jan could see inspired driving in Class B.
And so at last the sun came out, not only to dry the roads, but to get the crowds good and excited for the second of the West Bank Modifieds at this Mazda race meeting. The man they uh, come to see, Saul van der Meer van der Audi, his biggest challenger, Willie Hepburn alongside him, and then behind in the BP Mazda, one of the most determined men in South African motor racing, Ben Morgan Root from Ranford Town. And we're in the Mazda with him as we come up to the starting flag ahead of him, Henny van der Linde, the Turbo, Audi, and then Willie Hepburn as they go away, 15 laps ahead of them, and Sol van der as expected, in the lead, but with an advantage on the inside, Willie Hepburn and the crowds up and cheering, you could hear them, above all these noises in South African motor racing, the throbbing V8, the turbocharged cars, and back in the Mazda again, as Henny van der Linde starts taking on the Audi that's just above him, ahead of him, and then it's the Opel as they tear down to the screen, and the speed of that Opel is something to be held. The turbo coming up inside, but inside there with Henny van der Linde. Sol van der Beve, Kamikaze driving, takes him on the inside, and now he's after Willy Hepburn. Back there with uh, Sir Henny van der Linde, keeping right in there with the Audi. And just listen to those noises, the V8. The new whispering giant there of South African motor racing, that Audi Turbo. Then the squeaking of the Nissan 300 ZX. The crackling Mazda just behind him. In with Sorrel. There's the, the Opel really at work now, getting all that power onto the road. Much more grip this time on dry roads. But Sorrel looking for a place to come through. Now he's got to do it pretty early. 15 laps around this tight 2 kilometer circuit. He's trying. He's getting desperate. Trying it on the outside. We're back inside there with Sorrel with this National Super VH camera giving us all those shots and we go down to the screen you're doing 240 as they break down through the box he went down two gears there into the inside lets it drift to the outside as he powers it up to Bozal on go the lights there here Willie Hepburn ahead of him Sol once passed he's desperate to get past he can't leave it too long he's going for it he's going across the curb there but uh, Hepburn just makes his car as wide as he can and Sol has to be content he might have done a bit of body damage a dangerous thing to do there but Hepburn certainly has got the horses. Grand Prix type horsepower as he goes up the short straight and starts breaking there for Continental Corner. So right in behind him, just a car length behind him. You can see Willie getting into trouble. Nice trying to get all those horses galloping. 620 of them as he comes out. And Van der looking for a place again. But look at the power. Sol is battling with the gear change there. As Willie goes away down that hill, they're upwards of over 200, up to 240, down to the screen, onto the brake markers. They just touch, dab the brakes there at 50 metres gets it set up around this corner, the three corners and one as they go around the screen, ease out there to Bozal, down through another gear and start powering it on, tight into the curb, he's looking for a place to get him again, this is where he lost out the last time, now he's going down to Autocoup, the bank Autocoup corner, throwing the driver to the side of the car and the start finish flag is in sight there, but we've got laps to go, this is the short start finish flag and Hepburn's car with, uh, has got Sol tucked in right behind him, this time he's closer, this time he's looking for a way to come through, let one mistake happen in that corner and Sorrel is going to be through looking for the inside and the power goes on in that V8 there he's going for the inside there and Willie Hepburn close the door and they collide he collide he's onto the dirt again is Sorrel but he comes from a tough school he's learnt he's racing the hard way so is Willie Hepburn back with Sorrel in the Audi as they go down the screen he's going for it he's gone through the inside that's another bit of suicide driving his favourite spot to go through you've really got to take your heart in your mouth to do that at those speeds they're approaching that corner 240 getting the Audi sideways getting the Opel sideways these two titans of South African motor racing Henny van der Linde not too far behind about 50 60 meters behind them and in one of the fastest cars in South African motor racing and Sorrel van der goes through in the front Willie Hepburn is not finished yet he's keeping up the pressures they break down through Conti down through the box they're down through two gears and the crowd seeing the Audi in front for the first time in this race, still keeping him in sight there. Henny van der Linde, there he is in the Nissan 300 ZX, that V6. He's not far behind them. Hepburn comes through. Crowd love the sound of that big V8. And there comes Henny van der Linde down the road just behind him, one of the fastest cars in South African motor racing and certainly one of the best prepared vehicles. Beautiful looking machine. Also battling to get out of these tight corners. You can see how tricky it is as you feed on the power sideways for Van der Linde. We haven't seen him do that for a long, long time. And that's how close it all is. There's only seconds separating him. And there's the determined Ben Morgenroot still in the picture with that rasping, crackling Mazda always giving the crowd full value for their money, using all the road, never letting up and uh, keeping on the pressure and Ben always in the picture. You can always depend on him. And back for more unique shots taken inside this racing Audi with the Springbok Sorrel front of him as he completes 
two wins for the day in the West Bank modified races. So there's the result. Sorrel van der Merwe in the Audi Turbo gets the double. Willie Hepburn, the save at Caltex Opel, was second both times. Ennie van der Linde was third there in the BP Nissan. And Dor Bed Morgan Root fourth in that race, but third overall for the day in the BP Mazda. Great racing at this Mazda race meeting.